r slash ask reddit by redmond dts what screams i'm economically illiterate confusing personal finance with economics had an it intern a sophomore tell me he wanted to start a minor in economics i asked him what interested him in economics and he said he wanted to learn to invest in the stock market and get rich i had to explain that i have a masters in economics and if that taught me to get rich in the stock market, I wouldn't be working in IT. Expecting prices to reduce when inflation goes down. This is the number one misconception people have right now. Everyone expecting prices to go back to 2019 levels. It's just not going to happen. And if it does then it's bad news. The best we can hope for is sustainable inflation and wage growth. Too many people in the United States have gone too long without ever having to experience rapid inflation, so they have no idea what it really entails. Refusing a raise because it'll bump you up to the next tax bracket. Not understanding marginal taxes. No, there is no scenario where you get a raise and your take home pay goes down because of reaching a new tax bracket. Blaming a sitting president for gas prices. There was a survey done in the last year or so, asking Americans whether they thought the current unemployment rate was a 50 year high or a 50 year low. A substantial fraction thought it was a 50 year high. Most people are totally unfamiliar with the actual economy, and instead have beliefs driven by news headlines. Big new truck parked in front of a house that looks like it is about to fall down. I think big new truck in general. It's hard to see any economic sense in spending $80,000 plus on a vehicle that pretty much does the same amount of work just as well as an old Toyota pickup can. These big new pickup trucks are mostly emotional support vehicles for insecure men. Not knowing the difference between finance and economics. Probably a lot of the same people who don't know the difference between weather and climate. Thinking installment payments are significantly cheaper than paying all at once. The relationship between supply demand and price is fundamental economic knowledge. If they can't grasp that, they would be considered illiterate. One time I worked at Lowe's, and a customer wanted to buy an item. I told her that she could buy the rest of the items, and come back for that one when we had it in stock. She says. No because then I'll pay more in taxes. She must have thought that purchasing items separately would cost more in sales taxes. Oh man, there's so many of these. Thinking that a tax write-off is equal to a tax refund. Conflating one's own financial struggles with rhetoric state of the national economy. Thinking that rising interest rates are a cause of inflation, not a remedy of it. Thinking saving cold hard cash outside of a bank is a sound investment strategy. Defending tax cuts for the high wealthy while you personally don't have two pennies to rub together. A lot of people actively refuse to live at or below their means. You'll meet people making over $100,000 a year still living paycheck to paycheck, because they just spend all the money they make. Keep this in mind when people talk about the economy, since a lot of people complaining absolutely could be living comfortably if they downsized a bit. People who are actually struggling often sound basically the exact same as well off people who have been slightly inconvenienced, which leads to a lot of distortion in how people perceive the economy. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.